Keeping up with the fun this Friday of the long weekend, I'm Mark McAllister here at Woodbine Park for the opening of Buskerfest, where you're going to see lots of street performers just like this. Lots of fun for people of all ages, family as well. When you do come down here though, what you'll soon realize is it's more about just this type of entertainment. It's also about support for those in need. I was watching TV and next thing I knew, my living room was full of police, firefighters and ambulance people and I was on my way to hospital. I had had a grand mal seizure. When Alyssa Diamond first discovered she had epilepsy, she was an adult with two kids and terrified. The neurological condition resulting in different types of seizures can be difficult to grasp and yet one in 100 people actually live with it and need support. Didn't know a thing. That's why an organization like Epilepsy Toronto is so wonderful and why Buskers Fest is so wonderful. It didn't, it wasn't around when I first came down or got this disorder. Now, so many people have this opportunity to learn about the disorder. The festival celebrates its 21st year in Toronto, featuring all kinds of street performers, including musicians, fire breathers, mimes, and acrobats. Look closer though, and the signs of purple throughout show something more. An event that raises money for an organization that helps educate and provide services to those in need. The money that's raised here, the admission that you give at the gate, goes back to Epilepsy Toronto and helps us supply services for people living with epilepsy in Toronto. Services such as counselling, support groups, um, education, employment services. Rick Miller's daughter was diagnosed three years ago after a couple of seizures while he was on the road with his band, who will now be on stage in support of the cause. We're so grateful for Epilepsy Toronto to have offered us the services that still are ongoing and so happy to be able to be performing to raise funds and awareness. A sense of community opened up for the rest of Toronto to experience over a weekend with some outdoor fun and entertainment. You can feel like so much has been taken away from you uh, to, to feel that you still can do things and you still are the same person despite having this condition. So the crowds are starting to gather. This will continue through the entire long weekend here at Woodbine Park. For those who are coming down at the various entrances to the park, they are hoping for donations of $10 each if you are able. 